Hi Scorpio. This is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week beginning 13th of December 2021. We'll have two cards per day for every day of this week. And if you like my private reading, you um, just go to the description box below and click on the fiber link. Okay, that will take you to your order. Anyway, Monday the 13th of December for you Scorpio. And we have four of wands, three of cups, Tuesday, king of wands, Wednesday, eight of wands, Thursday, five of cups, Friday, queen of wands, Saturday, and ace of cups, Sunday. Strength, your influencing energy, Scorpio. Anyway, no comment on it just now. Four of Wands, Monday with Death. Three of Cups, Tuesday with the King of Swords. King of Wands, Wednesday with Ten of Swords. Eight of Wands, Thursday with the Sun. Five of Cups with the Magician on Friday. Queen of Wands, Saturday with the High Priestess. Ace of Cups, Sunday with Six of Swords. Your influencing energy, Seven of Swords and Strength. Now, Seven of Swords energy, particularly if you are embodying it, this is energy within you coming from somewhere last week, okay? Getting out of trouble, okay? Something that is war zone, conflict or something. You don't want to be there. Whatever situation that you did have somewhere last week, you try to kind of run away from it. Counting on your luck or on, or on some, you know, circumstances, something that you will cover, something that will cover you, that will protect you that will somehow you will manage to get this back door and to run away in that sense this is seven of swords it's energy of thief getting something that does not belong to you you are getting it by luck by chance or it's somebody else's you are just taking it you've got for opportunity to take it and in that sense you got you see seven of swords last week you managed somehow to succeed without much of effort now, strength energy out there talks about controlling such a situation, being in control. It seems to me somewhere last week there was a something tricky. Okay, this is war zone behind this person, something very conflicting. You somehow kept your cool, you kept the situation under control, you traded lightly, you made all the time proper decision, you reacted with perfect timing, everything to perfection, you kept the situation under control, you didn't allow it to escalate conflict to escalate and you manage somehow to get out of troubles out of problems okay summer last week just because you were able to control it monday with the death transitioning yourself into something i i don't know some situation is going away and you are moving towards something else with this death energy something is already gone okay and you didn't even like it lately okay um never gonna be in your life again i don't know we are talking situation that anyway you knew it does have an end okay so it's ended you are happy about it, okay? You found your comfort zone, you found your happiness, something that you didn't want in your life anymore is out already and you are kind of celebrating your successful day on Monday. Um, some problem is gone and you are kind of pleased pleased with yourself now celebrating again four of four of uh, wands you do have people celebrating day or art and on tuesday as well it seems to me you will be celebrating something uh, scorpio some small success something that uh, something which brought you benefits or i don't know whatever to brought you some sort of comfort um, king of swords within you it's you being very clear what are you doing? How are you doing it? What decision you are making? It's that sort of energy. King of Swords is very logical. Relies on his mind. 
you are relying on your knowledge. On this day, you know how to do, you've got your knowledge, you've got your understanding, you've got your clarity. Everything is clear to you. You are celebrating, you've done it well. Perhaps it means a lot for your future as well. Now there is King of Wands on the very next day. It could be your best friend. Or it's just the energy of confidence. It's very creative energy. It does have great ideas, willpower, particularly willpower, to go after that idea, abilities, confidence, accountability, everything is with this energy. Whatever that you have on your mind that you can do, that you could do, with this energy, yes, you can. Yes, you can create it easily. This one is hardworking one. It doesn't care. It doesn't need anybody else. Even if it needs to delegate, it will be in his terms. All right, that kind of energy, very much individual, very capable on its own, standing as a force on its own. Okay, energy of King of Wands on um, on Wednesday, very capable, confident energy. It, it takes your worries away, okay? Ten of Swords, new day for you. You are creating something else for yourself, obviously. New situation, something else you are creating confidently for yourself. Worries are going away with the Ten of Swords. Now, Eight of Wands with the Sun. Now, we are talking Sun card, beautiful. We are talking vitality, good health, uh, joyful situation for you. We are talking children. We are talking um, projects for your future. Something new that you have started and it's not yet capable to stand on its own. Okay? But will be eventually. It will grow eventually. Okay? It will be meaningful out there in, I don't know, maybe some years from now on. It will grow with time. The sun card is all of it. Beautiful energy, vitality, happiness, joy. Now, eight of wands out there talks business. You are definitely preparing yourself with king of wands, with eight of wands. Oh, you are busy doing things. This is very intense energy. On this day, that what you have decided on Wednesday that you can do. You will intensely begin to work on it, to prepare yourself for that, to get informations, you will send emails, you will speak to people, you will communicate, you will do things in order to prepare yourself to create something new, to do something new. And there's magician, the new situation you are working on, very confident. This is creator, okay, great creator. And this one as well, this is a magical creator. This one is hard working, doing things with his own hands, working on it, hard worker, okay, diligent person, stubborn in a way. But this one is creator who does it with ease, easily, like with magic, this um this magician, okay, and you are embodying it here on this day, and surely Major Arcana will overpower this Five of Cups, this energy of past sadness, past failures, past, by all means, something in your past wasn't really pleasant, wasn't really good for you, and on this day, you will just remember it, in order perhaps not to repeat the same mistake, in order not to happen to you again, it is perhaps very important, even if it causes, even if causes sadness on this day, you will not repeat the very same mistake, perhaps being out of energy, okay, you might have somebody coming towards you, telling you, oh, do you remember uh, how sad, how difficult that project was. We have started enthusiastically and it felt later could be that somebody else is in your environment, some, some sort of party pooper, okay, uh, with this Five of Cups, but will not face you. Definitely, you've got a great idea. You are on to something new. You are moving forward with that new things. I mean, you've got now this Queen of Wands and the High Priestess. Now, King of Wands, Queen of wands about the same you will definitely Scorpio create something you are on to it this week you've got a great idea you are not hesitating to work to go in towards it to do all preparations to talk about that to collect documentations whatever that you need to do okay very clear to you clarity you have about everything okay even if somebody is reminding you about remember remember ah oh, you wouldn't care you know this time you are right 
This is very confident energy and you know you are right. Another confident, fearless energy, queen of wands, enthusiasm, doing things with joy. You do feel that there's nothing actually to obstruct you here. That what you want to create, that what you want to do, you can do. Nothing is here to obstruct you, nothing to stand on your way. And with high priestess within yourself, perhaps you are deeply searching within yourself because both of these energies are very intuitive and you will rely a lot, a lot on it on this day, on Saturday. You will definitely feel it in your gut, in your body, in your soul. You will feel it. This is the right way and you will not have have fear. Queen of Wands doesn't have fear. Immediately eliminates every doubt about that endeavor, about that project, about something that you are constructing, you are creating out there and fearlessly and confidently. Lovely, lovely. This week I think it's very productive for you. Your mind is very precise. No doubts here. You are definitely seeing that future is bringing just happiness for you. And by Sunday, you even feel that you can breathe easier now. Okay, you feel a bit easier. There's no troubles anymore. This week definitely will take away some situation, some sort of troubles. Death, Ten of Swords, Six of Swords, gone. Some worries, some troubles. Were they with you for some time? Okay. Now it's going away. This week is kind of mixed bag, but you are moving confidently forward. Eh? Even something from the past is still present, still in your memory, still with people who will remind you about what was or something like that. But you will not doubt yourself that what is on your mind, that what you see that you can create, that what you see that your life could look alike, your career or that particular situation could look alike like that what you are doing that is undoubtable for you and you really believe that just happiness is coming your way happiness love success everything goes into this uh, ace of cups could be your money that what that's supposed that what's supposed to make you happy and it seems to me you are creating this week you are creating something that will make you happy you are already feeling good with yourself on this day You'll feel this capable creator within yourself. Lovely energies. Enjoy it.